the stares I get, I feel like people can see through my clothes and it brings me deep shame. It makes me feel like I lost all right to my privacy, which I did because I'm one Google search away. I wish that people would treat me how they would treat a married registered nurse with 2.5 kids. That's how I wish people would treat me. Mental hospitals can only do so much. When you go through something so painful, only God can restore you. God really started to bring grace to that scripture. And he said, Brittany, this isn't the life that I have for you. The life that I have for you is going to overflow with so much peace and so much joy. And if you'll just quit the industry today, I'll bless your life like no man ever could. Sometimes, yeah, you do get shame. You do get all that stuff because it has real repercussions. But when you're young, you're beautiful, you're attractive, you have some sort of trauma from your childhood or something like that. And you like the money, you like the fame, you like all the attention that you get, but at the same time, your life is pretty much done. It is. You cannot undo hundreds of thousands of years of evolution uh, within 10, 15 years and say, ha, oh, we just want to be accepted. Yeah, but you're like one Google search away from me seeing you doing all that st shocking stuff. Like boyfriends, dating was really hard. People have this persona of you, especially as I like grew a name for myself. Mm -hmm. It was hard to meet someone who doesn't know who I was. Mm -hmm. And so like there was always that like fandom. They met me first in their mind as Riley. Oh. So it was really hard to like reverse and teach them that I'm Ashley. Being with the porn stars, like you don't take her to meet your mom and blah, blah, blah. I didn't like retire, but I just stopped shooting like boy girl porn. Oh, so it was wow. like a choice that I made on my own, but I made that choice because I was lonely and I wanted like love and affections and stuff and I was like I'm not gonna be able to find this while I'm performing oh. because it makes dating really hard because I've dated guys and they were like me or porn and I was like well porn never gave me this ultimatum so I choose mm -hmm. that yeah because you want the money you want the attention you live for yourself but at the end of the day as you said it yourself you want love you want attention you want someone to care for you and obviously you don't want that from a regular ass dude you want that from like you know the cream of the crop because you are Riley Reid yeah you don't want that from a regular dude and those guys they tend to have way higher of a standard especially when it comes to relationships and providing with love and affection and all cuddling and all that stuff so uh, I don't know in Dubai there's obviously there's a lot of beautiful women, lots yeah. of different nationalities. And then quite a lot of them are doing some shady stuff. <laughs> of course, yeah. And I think some guys are aware of it, but a lot of guys, particularly me when I first moved here, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, but you need to have an eye for it. And now that, and when you first moved here, you were not the man you are today. No. Not three years ago, I was not the man that I am today. It's just a natural progression of being a man, but you learn now that you have some more money and some more status, you learn how to spot signs. For me, it's incredibly easy, but again, I have money. For a lot of young guys, they'll see girls in Dubai at a dinner table with four of their girlfriends and, you know, up having fun in Dubai or whatever. They'll see them standing on some little boat. They'll see them at this beach, at this club, and they don't think anything of it. I follow the money. I add up the numbers. Girls who live luxurious lives in Dubai may well have a boyfriend or a husband. That's fine. Who's got money? But they shouldn't be messaging you if they are. Mm -hmm. If a girl's messaging you, hey, I'm single. You're like, okay, cool, you're single. And then I'll say, you know, what are you doing tonight? And I'll say, oh, I'm out for dinner. And then I see on their Instagram, it's her at Gal, and I can see the table, the physical table. And there's a steak, a lobster thermidor, and 500 grams of caviar on the table with a bottle of Dom Perignon. I'm like, okay, this girl told me that she's a makeup artist. That's $4,000. Yeah. That's how much that costs because I know, because I spend the same money and I go to the same places. Oh, I'm just at the club with my friends. Say la vie, 10 bottles of Dom Perignon. Okay, that's nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 right there. Who's paying for that? Ah, guess who? The clients. If she's single. So I think following the money is the best advice I can give to people. You know, look at their Instagram and look how expensive the things that they're doing are. I'm just here with my girlfriends. They're riding those dune buggies around the desert. They're on desert safari. I'm like, okay, that's $400, $500, $600 dollars each. What did this girl say she did? Waitress oh. in Italy? Like, you just have to understand that, you know, the money doesn't come from nowhere and the lifestyle doesn't come from nowhere. The funny thing is, when they say they're with their friends and they're not actually posting their friends half the time. Yes, It's always very close up yep. shots of the dinner, maybe a little shot of the boat. Yeah. And, and by all means, and there's... 
and what what they do with those posts, right? Because they know that they have other men following them. What they are basically saying, hey, is hey, look, if you wanna hang out with me, first things first, you gotta be able to pay for this amount of food, uh, this type of wine. I gotta be in this location. I gotta do this, this, and this, right? If you don't have that, yeah, she's not gonna answer to your messages. So she's basically signaling like, hey, idiots, this is what you have to do in order to get me and my body and this Instagram uh, filter body face that you see. Nothing wrong with having a man take you on an expensive dinner. There really isn't. But you just have to be able to tell the difference, the nuanced differences between what they're doing. So if a girl's here on vacation and she takes a picture of a $4,000 dinner, fine. Maybe some rich man's taken her out. Maybe I took her out. Who knows? And she's posting this on her Instagram story when I'm in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't care. But if she says I'm out for dinner with friends and it's a waiter taking a picture of four girls, her and her four girlfriends who live in, I don't know, Spain, sitting at the Burj Al Arab with $11,000 worth of food on the table, I'm like, okay, somebody has said, go downstairs and eat what you want and you four girls come up to the penthouse afterwards, wink, wink. That's what's happened here. And you need to be able to see those things because you have to understand the, the culture of how some people live in any city in the world that has money and the culture of the women who come here. But if you don't have an eye for it, you can very easily fall into trap. And the trap being that you're gonna be a sad loser paying for their uh, OnlyFans or whatever it is, um, if they have one, but you're gonna be sitting at home saying, oh, look at what this life that they have, now realizing that, yo, there's a sponsor behind it. Yeah, she didn't pay, actually pay for any of that stuff. Or maybe she did pay. Because uh, she's a content creator, not on YouTube, but you know. <laughs> James Cowboy Jennings has piles of paperwork from the Ohio Child Support Office. The state wants money to the tune of $18,000 and has started taking it from his social security checks. They said it's for a baby, your baby, which was my baby. Actually, that was Tanya Hogan and the brother murdered her in Winton Terrace. The paperwork claims Jennings still owes support for Tanya, but Tanya was killed in 1981 on Winesti when she was only three years old. This is where Tanya Hogan's unmarked grave is at Spring Grove Cemetery. Her father says to this day it still brings back painful memories to speak about his daughter. Yeah, well you see he's still forced to pay child support and all that stuff. Why? Because the law in most countries in the West, for instance, someone has to take care of the kid. Yeah, just a guy, any guy. So not only do you pay taxes for your income, you know, because you just have to, but at the same time, whatever is left, you still have to pay for the kid. That's why when I got this, it just riled me back. It brought the dragon back up out of cowboy. 